This video shows how to set up a DPRAG demo screw feeder. Undo the four latches at the lower part of the case. Then lift straight up. Look for the lift locations at the base of the feeder and lift the feeder out of the case. Unlatch the top of the feeder case and remove its contents. Locate the hinges of the feeder lid, tilt back the lid, and then lift straight up. Transport screws are used to prevent damage to the feed bowl during transportation. There are three yellow cap head screws which need to be removed, placed at the base of the vibrator. Use a size 4 metric wrench to remove the screws. Be sure to remove the nylon standoffs between the vibrator and the base plate. For a twin feeder, you have a pressure hose, two screwdrivers, one with a ball type nose piece, the other with a split type nose piece. Comes with a screw plate, screws, tools, and operating instructions. Insert the nozzle of the feed hose into the mouthpiece of the screwdriver. Secure the nozzle end with the knurled screw. Connect the pressure hose to the screwdriver. To disconnect the pressure hose, pull back on the sleeve of the coupler. Connect the feed hose to the separator. The nozzle connects to a port underneath the separator. Secure the nozzle into the separator. Use a size 2 metric allen wrench. Do not over tighten the set screw. If you have a twin feeder, repeat the process for the second side. Connect pressure hoses from the screwdriver to the feeder. Connect the pressure hose from the feeder to the main house air line. Check the pressure gauge for 6 bar of air pressure. To adjust the air pressure, lift up on the regulator control, twist right to increase, and twist left to decrease the pressure. Check for 6 bar of air pressure. Press down on the adjustment control of the regulator after adjustments are made. The maintenance unit will regulate the air, collect debris and water, provide air for the valve control block, sends oil to the screwdrivers with a Venturi type oiler, remove main air before adding oil, remove the fill plug to add oil. Connect the power cord to a 110 volt 60 hertz power source. Press the on button on the control panel, the red light should come on. 
dump the bag of screws into the feed bowl. On the feeder control panel, press and hold S1 or S2 to start the vibrator and load the feed rails. Vibration speed is controlled with the black knob on the control panel. Air deflector jets are used to prevent jams by blowing screws back into the bowl. Air comes from the maintenance unit down through a manifold into two flow sensors, through a hose, through the couplers, out through the screwdriver pressure hoses, into the screwdrivers. Screws enter the separator one at a time from the feed rails. They shuttle over, they drop into the feed hose. Air pressure blasts the screw up from the shuttle to the nose piece. Screw shuttles over, drops, and blasts to the nose piece. Start then stop the screwdriver. The flow sensor will send a signal to the control card to send a screw. Press S1 or S2 for less than a second to send a screw to the corresponding screwdriver. Use the ball type nose piece for recessed applications. Use a split type nose piece or split type with locks for surface applications.